All right, we are here with our second to last day of preparing for your best 2019 ever. And today what I wanted to do is work on a vision board or a mood board for 2019. Now I'm not gonna go into the whole spiel about manifesting and what it means to manifest, but we know at the end of the day, whatever is on our mind, whatever we're thinking about, whatever we really put enough focus and energy and intention into, that's the thing that blossoms. So that's basically the underlying meaning of manifestation. It means whatever you think happens in a way. We're not going to get into that. Like I said, it could be a whole nother video. So what we're going to do today is we are going to create a place that has all of the things that we want to come to fruition. It might be in the next six months, it might be in the next year, it might be a five year vision board, but what I want you to do is I want you to start it now. Because the more you start thinking about it now, the more you start acting towards it now, the more you start feeling it now, the sooner it will come. So we are going to focus on what you want to bring into your life, what you man want to manifest into your life beginning in 2019. So what I want you to do is I want you to take out a pen and paper like now, like right right meow and we're going to break down this into sections and for each section i'm going to name it off i want you to think about what you want in your life it could be a feeling that you want to feel it could be something tangible it could be something a connection with the person it could be a person in general what do you want in those areas of your life so you go get your pen and paper and we are going to start that right now okay peeps your first section and you can pause in between so that you can write stuff down because I'm not going to pause while I'm reading through. Your first section is livelihood and lifestyle. What do you want your lifestyle to be like? What do you want your day to day to look like? What do you want your work to look like? Any hobbies that you have, your social life, your livelihood and your lifestyle. What do you want that to look like from 2019 and beyond? Section number two, body and wellness. We are talking about your physical body and your physical health. What do you want to look like, feel like, be able to perform as? What do you want to do for your physical being and your health? And then for wellness, what do you want to do for your mental and emotional health? How do you want to feel? How do you want to be able to function? Think about all three of those areas because guys, let me tell you, you could be super physically fit, but if your emotional health or your mental health isn't on point, you aren't on point. So you want to think about how could you be the best version of yourself physically, mentally, and emotionally. Number three, creativity and learning. And this is a big one, you guys. You want to, in life, remain forever coachable. So what do you want to continue to learn about? What do you want to be your creative outlet? This could be another area for your hobbies and things that you do with your hands and things that you can create. Guys, this doesn't even have to be like, pottery for you if it's interior design and you want to focus on des redesigning a room in your home this year what do you want that to look like what do you see in your third eye what do you see when you envision it put it on paper number four relationships and society now this can be an intimate relationship this could be relationship with your family this could be relationship with your friends this could be relationships with your community and your society. This could be relationship with yourself. What do you want it to look like? What are the characteristics of these different relationships that you want to see come to truth in 2019? And last but not least, we are going to focus on your essence, your spirituality. Where do you want to be? What do you want to feel like? How are your beliefs settling out? Maybe you want a new community. Maybe you want to continue in your growth and learning. Maybe you want to go away on a retreat. Maybe you want to make sure that you go to church every Sunday. Maybe you want to build a stronger relationship with God. What do you want in your essence and your spirituality? Figure out feeling and physical and write it down. All right, peeps, now that you have that all worked out onto a list, what we are going to do is we are going to make it a visualization practice by creating a board. Now, this can be an actual poster board that you cut out pictures on a magazine and paste on. This could be different Pinterest boards for each of the different sections and pinning different things into that board. But it has to be something that you look at often. So for me, something that I do every single year is I make one for my desktop on my computer and then I use the same photos and I make one for the screensaver on my phone. I just know it's something that I'm looking at all of the time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and make my 2019 board through a few different websites. 
onto my desktop so that every time I open my computer, I can see it. And remember, the more you see it, the more you think about it, the faster and more true it happens. So for me, what I use is I like to use canva.com to create the collage of pictures and I use it for a lot of graphic design stuff and digital design. And then what I'll do is I'll Google pictures, Pinterest pictures, um, two big ones that I use, I use we heart it, we and then the word heart and it.com and I also use Pexels, P-E-X-E-L-S.com which is like just free stock photos. So let's go ahead and do that now. I've got my list, we're gonna put it together together. Let's see. One thing I did want to mention before we get into this is the crystals that I use when I'm making my vision board. So like I said, this is manifestation work, which means I get to add a little woo-woo to it. So I use clear quartz, which is like the manifesting power tool. I use rose quartz for love. I use amethyst for spirituality, citrine for abundance and wealth, carnelian for creativity and motivation, and then obsidian for change. So I keep these with me when I make my vision board so that it's charged with the right intentions. All right, peeps, so I have the ugly like background on my computer right now, but like I said, we are going to go into Google and just type in for the first one, canva.com, and that is going to help us create the collage itself. Um, I go in and I search for the desktop option, and then usually it comes up already as like a pre-selected option for me to choose, and I just click on that, and use the blank one because remember, I don't really need a design because I'm just gonna be adding a bunch of pictures in as a collage. And then I'm going to go open a few other tabs and use weheartit.com, which is one of the things that I use to get pictures. And the other one is pexels.com. These are the two main sources for photos that I use. And they'll give you like free stock photos and really cute photos that people have submitted without royalty. Okay, so from there, I just go in and I search things that will match up with my vision board and just find a photo that really works for me. So for example, one thing that I want in 2019 is I want to be able to, one, I'm moving over my career, but two, I want to work in employee engagement. And I really want to train a team on how they can have the best high performance. So I'm looking through for a photo that has that feeling to me, and then I'm just gonna add it onto my board. I will be saving all the photos first, and then I will be uploading all the photos to Canva at one time so that I can fit them together like puzzle pieces. Let's fast forward a little bit. All right, so as you see now, I'm just taking all the photos as they're uploading into Canva and squeezing them in. I'm making them smaller because I know that I have about 30 photos to work with in this space, but you can always change the sizes and the placement later. Once you put them on, it's not like they're permanent. So I just make them small and I usually start around the border. It's just easier to work outside in and make sure that they all fit. If some overlap, it's okay, just as long as when I look at that photo, I know what it means to me. So I'm gonna finish up my vision board and it's time for you to start looking for your photos and begin yours. Happy vision boarding.